Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome to a vlog of a small YouTuber number 10. This video I'm making on the fly, did not plan on making this video, but as you can see, YouTube decided to mess with monetization some more, and we're going to go through it. Now, if you haven't heard, we'll just read the whole letter, um, and I'll talk about it. So, 2017 marked a tough year for many of you, with several issues affecting our community, and uh, the ad revenue earned from advertising through the YPP... Despite those issues, more creators than ever are earning a living on YouTube, with a number of channels making over six figures up 40% year over year. So basically, that's like the opening paragraph. Um, and they're basically pointing out that a bunch of people are making money on the platform right now. Um, by the way, if my voice feels sounds bad, it's because I'm sick. They go through a lot of, you know, 2017, there's the adpocalypse and all that stuff. That happened, like Adpocalypse and everything. Logan Paul. So what I want to point out, though, because I don't want to read the whole thing, is this. Starting today, we're changing the eligibility requirement for monetization to 4,000 hours of watch time within the 12 past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. So what does that mean? That means that you are not allowed to have ads on your channel, uh, unless you have made 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. You, that's not you're in. That is you're eligible. Now, according to people like Philip DeFranco, there's actually, like, everyone who uh, says, hey, I want to be part of this, actually has to ha have their channel reviewed by a real person. And YouTube increased their staff dramatically for that. So with that being said... Um, they have like a 30 day grace period. This is the important part I want to focus on. So everyone, this stuff on the screen right now, you're seeing this, everyone focuses on this and how we got to do more hours. We've got to have more subscribers. We're going to go to the next part. And this is my favorite paragraph. Through these changes, we will affect a significant number of channels. 99% of those affected were making less than $100 a year. So they, that means that less than $100 a year means there are 99% of YouTube channels get less than one paycheck from YouTube a year. With 90% of these channels earning less than $2.50 in the last month. This is what I want to focus on in this video, okay? Is freaking, if YouTube pays you money and you never get a paycheck, why should you have that money when it could you could have had given other people that money, right? Like, like... Let's just take uh, me, right? What if I needed 99, what if I needed one more dollar, right? And this is how I look at it. If I need one more dollar and all these small channels are getting monetization but never getting a paycheck, I'm gonna be pretty pissed about that. And I have been thinking about this for a very, very, very long time. When that 10,000 lifetime views thing came out, I was like, good. This, I think it's good. I really think it's good. Um, 4,000 watch hours, they want this because YouTube's a place where they focus on watch time a lot more than views. Uh, many people um, are like, oh yeah, views, 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 views. You know, it's still a nice metric to look at views instead of watch time. But beyond views, anyone who is a creator on YouTube knows that you actually have to do, if you click on analytics on YouTube, that you have to actually do some work to actually find your view counts. Like, it's kind of like, it's not right there. The analytic that is right there is watch time. Watch time is just bam in your face. It's it's right there. So really, how am I affected? I don't worry about this at all. I, I tell people this all the time. PewDiePie only makes a million dollars because he relies on AdSense. He could be making way more, like that Origin PC deal, he probably is making tens of thousands of dollars, probably hundreds of thousands off of one brand deal, right? Like, you can make money off, like, I'm glad they got rid of AdSense because it, it, people use it as like a crutch, like, oh, I'm going to make it on YouTube by YouTube's money, when they could easily be going up to sponsors and making money, like, easily let me let me show you guys something i'm going to use this by the way to show off something else so i started a merch like literally today right um i'm going to tell you guys this if let's just take the t-shirt right if you buy 
This t-shirt right here, this t-shirt, two of them, if two of them get sold, I have made more money this month off of selling t-shirts than, um, what do you call it? Than AdSense, all right? Four sales is too much. So, um, I know I'm plugging my merch here, but this, this video is off script, off rail. I was going to plug it anyway. So I'm using this as an example, okay? I was going to plug it anyway, this is how I plug it. So back to the blog. I, I think this is a good thing. This is going to take the people who are like, oh, I only do YouTube because I care about it, and they secretly do it for money, and it's going to drive them off, right? And it gives YouTube a lot more time. It, it doesn't, it makes it so they can actually check your channel to see if you're eligible for monetization, because let's just take a big creator, right? Like Logan Paul, or we'll pick on Logan Paul. If Logan Paul is getting paid by YouTube, and he makes videos that will get YouTube in trouble, YouTube probably doesn't want him to get paid by YouTube. So they can make sure that that doesn't happen again. That This is their way of saying, we're gonna make sure a video doesn't circulate like that. It really is more of, hey, we gotta make sure that we take care of the people that work hard. And the people that work hard eventually get this ad revenue. I'm like 99% of channels getting less than one paycheck a year. I really, that number is insane to me. And the fact that 90% earn less than $2.50 a month, that's like, I want to say that's around $23 million a month that could have gone to the people that actually are, you know, bigger and have been on the website longer. So, I don't know, this is a video that's completely off the rails. I do want to know your opinions, guys. This is just a quick little vlog of a small YouTuber number 10. This is probably not even going to be a vlog of a small YouTuber. This is going to be a vlog, a video that I upload. You know what? We're going to do this. Scroll up here. Ready for a thumbnail picture? Bam! Thumbnail picture right there. That's the thumbnail. But guys, that's it for this video. I know it was quick. Um, I'm gonna upload this, uh, this is uploaded as fast as I can. As you can see, it is 6 p.m. the day that it's getting uploaded. But I do have merch. I'm gonna kind of be plugging it here and there because I need to, you know, make more money for, I'll explain it later. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Streamer Vlog. Whatever I decide to make.